Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Hilman Hakim, a doctoral student from the study program of Management and Business, School of Business at IPB University, Bogor, Indonesia. It is an honor to present at the 8th International Conference on Education, Business, Islamic and Technology 2024, Putrajaya, Malaysia. Today, I will be discussing a topic that is crucial to the field of Islamic finance, focusing on factors affecting Wakif's interest in case Wakaf, a systematic literature review. This presentation will explore key determinants influencing the willingness and enthusiasm of individuals and organizations to engage in case Wakaf with insights gathered from a comprehensive literature review. Indonesia is one of the developing countries that is faced with the problem of poverty. One component that hinders the progress of human life is poverty. Apart from poverty, there are also other social problems such as unemployment, social inequality, and low level of education. Apart from that, health problems are also found. One type of wakaf that is currently becoming a big problem is case wakaf. Utilizing case wakaf can be an important step in solving problems in people's lives. Case wakaf is an important instrument in efforts to improve community welfare. Case wakaf can make a wakaf institution more responsible towards the surrounding community, which will ultimately improve community welfare. Case wakaf plays an important role in meeting social, educational, and welfare needs. Wakaf can be used as an endowment fund for people that benefit society as a whole. The potential for case work of Indonesia based on data from the Indonesian Work of Board or BWI reached 180 trillion rupees. Based on BWI data, the actual collection of case work of in 2022 reached 1.65 rupees trillion rupees. The total case work of collection in 2023 reached 2.3 trillion rupees with uh, 14.8 million wakifs out of the total of 238 million Muslim population in Indonesia. Even though there has been an increase, there is a quite large gap between the potential and actualization of collecting case wakaf. The government has made a series of efforts to support case wakaf, including through the National Case Wakaf Movement, on January 25 in 2021, which was launched by the President of the Republic of Indonesia. Apart from that, there is an interesting fact that in 2022, CAF World Giving Index, which states that Indonesia is the country with the most generous population in the world. It can be interpreted that there is a great hope that the acquisition of Kesmaka collection will continue to increase. The factors that influence the Wakif's interest in Wakaf are important and need to be examined in more depth. Based on this description, the research question arises. The first one, what are the factors affecting Wakif's interest in case Wakaf? And the second one, how to build a framework to explain the factors affecting Wakif's interest in case Wakaf? And the aim of the research is to analyze what factors affecting Wakaf's interest in case Wakaf and to analyze how to build a framework to explain the factors affecting work of interest in case work of. In this section, five previous studies are selected which are considered to be related in this research topic. Summary is carried out, out which uh, includes outdoor year, title, journal or conference, domain or context, objective, number of studies, data sources, and coverage, research question, and main result. There is one previous research article that is closest to this research. The previous research was entitled Factors that affect community in contributing in case workup for economic development, a structured review, written by Ghazali et al. 2023. The main differences were found to be in scope, source, and uh, time range. The, the, the first difference in the field of scope, 
Zali et al. 2023 focus on economic development. Current study has broader scope. Data source from Zali et al. 2023 use Scopus web website and Springer. Current study uh, focuses on Scopus. Time range Gazelle et al. 2023 is uh, about 2015 up to 2020. Meanwhile, current study from 2019 up to 2024. In the term of methodology, uh, I use the systematic review or SLR following the PRISMA guidelines. The keywords is the combination of case markov and determinant to collect articles. In the field of selection criteria, filters applied to Scopus article, limiting list up to 2019 up to 2024. 32 relevant articles selected after filtering and quality assessment. Result in discussion. In 2019, the number of articles published was four articles. However, there was only one article published in 2020. In 2021, the number of published articles increased again with a total of three articles. In 2022 and 23, the number of articles published peaked with nine articles each. In 2024, six articles uh, were published. Indonesia is the one of the main research location with 12, 12 uh, articles published. Malaysia is the research location with the largest number of articles, reaching 18 articles. Meanwhile, Thailand and Kuwait were each the research location for one article. Quantitative research methods were most frequently used with a total of 16 articles applying this approach. Quantitative research methods were used in 11 articles, indicating quite higher popularity for this type of approach. Mixed methods, which combine quantitative and qualitative, were used in five articles. Now we are discussing about the most used theory. Theory of learning behavior is the most widely used theory, with a total of seven articles applying this theory. TPB is a social psychology theory that is widely used in research on interest in work in case work of because it is able to explain and predict a person's behavior based on several relevant factors. In the context of interest of endowment, TPB is considered effective because it covers the components that underlie a person's interest in endowment. So the reason why TPB is often used in this regard, the first one is attitude component. It is a person's mind toward Kues Wakaf plays an important role in determining in, uh, interest in Wakaf. If a person has a positive view of benefits and importance of Kues Wakaf, then that individual person tend to has a tend to have a greater interest in doing so. The TB helps analyze how this attitude is formed and how much it influences case work of intention. The second one is subjective norm component. It refers to individual perception of how important others, for example, family, friends, and religious leaders, view case work of behavior. In the context of case work of social encouragement from the environment or the belief that work of is a failure embraced by society can encourage an individual into endo. TPB examines this social influence on case work of interest. The third one, perceived behavioral control component, it refers to a person's belief in his or her ability to perform in action. In the case of case work of, individuals need to feel capable or have sufficient resources to donate money. The TPB facilitates an understanding of how this perceived self-control affects the interest of endowing money. And the fourth one is more accurate behavioral prediction. By integrating the three components, the TPB offers a more comprehensive approach to predicting case work of intention. Researchers can better understand the factors that encourage or inhibit an individual's interest in case work of which in turn provides insight for the development 
of programs and policies to increase participation. And now this is the framework designed to explain the factors affecting what gives interest in case workup. Promotion and socialization, this activity aims to increase public understanding of case workup so that more people are, are interested in participating. This can include campaign advertisement, seminars, and publication conducted by workup institution. Religiosity, it is an individual level of closeness or commitment to religious teaching. This factor can play a role in shaping positive attitude and internal drive to endow money as part of worship or religious order. Knowledge, it is an individual has about the concept and benefits of this wakaf affects his or her interest in wakaf. The higher one's understanding, the more likely one is to be interested in doing cash wakaf. Awareness, it, is, it includes the understanding that cash wakaf is a form of worship and social contribution that can bring benefit both personally and to the wider community. Attitude, it is individual mind toward cash wakaf can describe the extent to which a person has a positive or negative view or case work of activities. This can be formed based on experience, information received, and personal assessment of the benefits of case work of. Subjective norm, it includes social pressure or person perception of the view of others who are considered important, such as family or friends. Perceived with flow control, it refers to one's perception of the ability to participate in case work of. If one feels capable, both financially and in terms of its procedure, then the intention of endomony may increase. Perception towards institution. It encompasses one's belief and trust in the work of institution. If institution is perceived to, the, to be transparent, trustworthy, and has good performance, then the individual's interest in endowing money to the institution will increase. Conclusion, Keswakov remains underutilized in Indonesia with insight on significant factors aiding the strategizing for higher collection rates. In terms of research gap, there are two gap, empirical gap and methodological gap. In empirical gap, in significant influence finding for 22 variables required for the examination, and in terms of multilateral gap, most studies rely on quantitative approaches. There is a need for more qualitative and mixed methods research to capture deeper insight into working motivation and perception. And research limitation, it is limited to Scopus Index article, so the future studies should include additional database, for example, Web of Science for a broader uh, perspective. Thanks to Professor Dr. Hartoyo, Dr. Sofrin Hanan, and Dr. Nur Hasana for guidance, direction, advice, and motivation to the order so that the order can complete this research. Thank you very much for your attention and participation. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.